Today's video was made possible by Squarespace. What's up internet, Kevin here with TLD. Now as you may have noticed, there has been a bit of a drought of gaming videos on this channel, and that's mainly because there's just not a lot of games that come out on console this time of year. A lot of companies push to get a lot of their big titles out during October, November, when the big holiday shopping season rush is going on, and you just don't see a lot of titles this time of year. But that's gonna change really soon, because February and March is gonna see a lot more games coming out. But before we get there, we wanted to bring you guys a review of some equipment that we used in making a lot of our videos, the Avermedia Game Capture HD2. Now we've had a lot of people ask us before in the past what we use to make our videos and what we use specifically to capture gameplay, and this is what got us through most of this past holiday rush. So we thought we'd bring you guys a proper review of it. So let's check it out. Now, until fairly recently, the vast majority of game capture units required you to hook them up to your Mac or PC, and then also hook them up to the system, and in a lot of cases, you also had to use a signal splitter to hook it up to a separate TV because whatever you saw on your computer would always be delayed or slowed down or lag, and as a result, you really couldn't play the game properly, or it would just look silly because you're just responding to things that happened two seconds ago. Well, the Game Capture HD2 is a really nice setup because it actually allows you to directly connect it to just your system and your TV, so you can incorporate in any kind of just living room or bedroom setup without having to create some kind of workspace just to record gameplay. Now what's also really nice about it is just how easy it is to set up. All you have to do is plug in your system's HDMI out or component out into the unit itself, then hook that up to your power, and then use an HDMI cable to hook up the unit to your TV. Outside of that, there are a few other ports you can make use of if you want to. For instance, there's a mic in if you want to record live commentary, if you're doing some sort of let's play, and there's an ethernet port so that you can hook it up to the internet if you want to directly upload what you record straight to YouTube. So once it's hooked up, it's also really easy to use. You have a few basic commands on the unit itself, things like being able to power it on or off, or starting and stopping recording, but if you want to do anything beyond that, then you have to make use of the remote control that's included, or download the GameMate app on your iOS device. Now this opens up a lot more options for what you can do with the Game Capture HD 2. In addition to recording gameplay, you can also just straight up take screenshots, you can control a lot of different settings, like whether or not you want to record live commentary at a given time, or if you want to adjust the recording quality, if you want it to take up less space in your hard drive, it even has really basic onboard editing software so you can take something you've recorded and cut it up and directly upload to YouTube without ever having to use a computer. Now everything you record is going to be saved to an internal hard drive that you install yourself. You have to use your own hard drive, it is sold separately. Or if you're planning on moving files around a lot more, say you want to make use of more advanced editing software to make videos like what we do, then you can just plug in a USB thumb drive to the front of the unit, record what you want to, unplug it, and then just move everything over to your main computer for editing. So the pros to something like this are fairly obvious. It's very easy to set up, very easy to use, and not to mention very portable. So let's say you want to record something over a friend's house and not on your usual setup. Well, you just bring it over, hook it up to the system and the TV, and you're good to go. You don't have to install any software, you don't have to hook it up to any kind of computer setup. You just record what you want to record and save the files for later to edit, or you can even upload directly to a YouTube account that you've linked with the unit. Now there are a couple of downsides to this. First off, it is a little unresponsive at times. Starting and stopping recording and taking screenshots is normally fine, but when you're trying to mess with the setup, settings or set new things up, it just tends to be a little less responsive than I'd like and you just have to be very patient with it. Another thing that really bothered me when we first used it is the fact that when you initially set it up, your first recording is going to have a gigantic Avermedia watermark in the corner, which I understand, you want to advertise your product, and honestly I'm completely fine with the option of having a watermark on or off. It's just the fact that it doesn't really notify you about it and it's initially set to on, it's never asked in any kind of initial setup, so you have to use it once or twice before you notice it and then go into the settings and shut it off. Now, outside of these minor grievances, the Game Capture HD2 is a great home solution if you're looking to record gameplay. You can set it up in your living room or your bedroom, wherever you normally play games, and not have to worry about moving everything around and setting up some kind of workspace every time you want to record gameplay for something. Now, it is advertised to work for the PS3, the Xbox 360, and the Wii U, all of which we've used it for, but we've also been able to use it on the Xbox One, and with that little workaround that we showed you last November, you can use it on the PS4 as well without any issues. Easy to set up, easy to use, portable, and in the end just good high quality capture for all current consoles makes the Game Capture HD2 a great option for anyone looking to start recording their gameplay. You can find it on Amazon right now for $169.90, which is in the middle price range. It's not the cheapest game capture device, but it's not the most super expensive either, and in my opinion, easily worth the cost considering how easy it is to make use of. Now before I get out of here and let you guys go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Squarespace for helping make this video possible. Squarespace is one of the simplest and fastest ways to make your own website. They've got 
got drag and drop functionality, and everything is automatically optimized to look good through multiple devices, whether it's your laptop, desktop, or smartphone. They've got a great support staff working out of New York available 24 seven. Pricing starts out as low as eight bucks a month with a free domain if you sign up for the year. And they also just introduced their logo creator, which you can check out in the link below. Now what's cool about this is that our fans that are interested in trying it out can get a free trial, no credit card required, as well as a 10% discount off your order if you end up liking it and decide you want to keep using it. All you gotta do is use the promo code TLD1 at checkout. That'll let them know that we sent you, gets you that promotion, and helps show us some support. So thanks for watching our review of the Avermedia Game Capture HD2. If you guys are interested in grabbing one for yourself, we do have it linked below for you. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, as always, it'd be really appreciated if you hit that like button and show us some support. While you're at it, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you become one because we have more content on the way. February and especially March is gonna see a lot more games come out. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Till then, I'm Kevin for TLD and we'll see you later.